There are some trails around here. See? The Abbott Marshlands. You're here. See, I'm going to come out here and go down. We're going to go down this duck tree creek to the duck island. I'm going to try to find this parking spot. Let's see how far we make it. Ready? We're going to go up here and make a left. That's why I wanted to go on level one because I want to conserve battery. I'm trying to make it all the way to that duck island thing. There's lots of people out here walking. This trail goes like all the way down. Good morning. I just put the cruise control on and I'm pedaling, but me and the battery, it's doing about half the work here. This is nice. This is good, like, stress relief. I kind of work in a stressful environment, so in the weekend, it's nice. Like, even if I can't ride my motorcycle, like, today, I guess I probably could have. It's, it's kind of cold for it, but even with all the gear that I usually wear, sometimes it's kind of nice even just to get out back here in nature. And it's kind of peaceful, like all the leaves are falling, and I can kind of just chill out. It smells so good. For some reason, like the smell of decaying leaves is one of my favorite smells. I forget how far it is to Duck Island. Let's see. I didn't know there was a parking lot over there. I'm thinking about like someday parking there, and you know, usually my goal is to get to Duck Island, but. It'd be kind of cool to like start from Duck Island. Yeah. And there's not a lot of twists and turns or elevation changes back here, huh? It's all just straight. But it's still kind of nice. There's not a freaking cloud in the sky. These are the days I live for, man. You know what I mean? Like when I'm like on my deathbed. I'm like. I got it in, you know. Definitely got it in. There wasn't one single weekend morning I didn't like go and have an adventure of some kind. Mostly the two-wheeled variety. Mostly on my motorcycle. Now with these e-bikes, I love these e-bikes, bro. And this thing wasn't even expensive. This thing was only like 500 bucks, you know, on Amazon. Some people are paying like thousands of dollars for e-bikes, and I'm just having the same exact amount of fun, probably more, because of all the money I save, you know. 500 bucks, I have this thing for a couple of years now, and I probably put a couple thousand miles on it already. It's still going strong. You can see, look, we're still on full battery. We've been going for a while now. I thought there was other little turnoffs and stuff at a certain point, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's only at Duck Island. New Jersey's got some interesting places to explore, I'll tell you that. We're up under 295 now. Someone's tag name is Stinky. Hey, what's up there, Stinky? I think this is one of the spots. All right, let's see where I'm at. How far did I make it? You're here. Duck Island. All right, let's turn off. This is where shit gets weird. There's like these big petroleum containers back here. We're like right on the pipeline. It's a little smoother on this sand. You guys ever just do crazy shit like this? It did show this on the map that this was the way to go to freaking get to there, but you now it feels like I'm gonna be like behind some kind of fence of some kind. I need to have a better look at that map, maybe next time. 
somehow on the other side of this fence. This happened to me last time I came back here. I like wasted all my battery like exploring stuff that was dead ends. But hey, that's what happens sometimes when you're exploring. Sometimes there's dead ends. We got ourselves pretty far out here today. Pretty proud of that fact. Let's look at the map again. What did I mess up? I felt like that was legit. Maybe I just gotta go a little bit further. Maybe I turned off a little too soon. Damn it, I'm determined to make it to Duck Island. I don't know if you've heard, I really like to go there today. I'm surprised that wasn't the turn off. I'm kind of pissed I wasted a bunch of battery back there. But that's cool. We continue on. Should be right here though. It showed it like right after 295. The Colin, here we come. The Colin. Go down a tiny bit more. And then turn left. Oh, we got the train again through the woods. Cool. I wasn't sure how to dress today, but I dressed proper. Like, I got my boots on and some thermals. I got decent kind of gloves on, my Joe Rocket gloves. You know, I feel pretty warm. I do have, like, my balaclava in my backpack, but I don't think I need it. It's kind of too warm for covering up my entire face like that. And I have my goggles, but... My eyes aren't really watering, so I didn't feel the need to use them today. I think this is the turnoff I was looking for. We're just back here on these roads now. Feels like this is part of the trail. But let's see what happens. I thought there was a way through the woods, but I'm not really seeing it. This is the life of an explorer. We're back here exploring, so... You never know what we're going to run into. I'm finally on the other side of the fence, though. I think this was the road we came out to before. If you guys made it this far, definitely hit the subscribe button. I want to hang out, you know? I want you guys to check out my videos if you're watching me doing all this exploring, because this is kind of what I'm going to be into, like, all winter long. I'm going to be exploring different places. Right now, like, still fall time, you can see, like, the leaves are on the trees, but I have a lot of, like, heated gear and stuff, and I'm planning to be out here, like, all winter long. I think this is the path I was trying to find before, but never did. Maybe I'll try to take that on the way back. We didn't come this far just to come this far. I might pause for a little water break and put on my other gloves. I feel like I'm overheating in these ones now. Last time I got like all like lost in the woods back here once. This was like two or three years ago. Do some no-handed riding. I don't know. I might have come to like the end of the line here. It's like some kind of like PSEMG headquarters or some shit. Getting into some abandoned stuff back here. This is where we were before, but we were on the other side of that fence right over there. Now we made it out, but we're still hitting the end of the line here. I guess there's no good way to get to uh, Duck Island. What is this? This is where I got to last time. A little trail map here.
Let's see here. That was that little parking lot. I'm gonna make it to the end. God damn right we are. Have to make it to the end, baby. See what happens when you pop out the other side. I remember all these trees being in the damn way last time too. But also I was determined to get there still. I don't know. Are you going over or under? I guess over. Bastard. I don't care. We're making it. We're making it to the end. I'm not going to give up till I see the water at Duck Island, baby. You know what I mean? I'm just not stopping till we see that. Chainsaw. We're still going. I hope there's a good payoff at the end here. There might not be. <laughs> Who cares? Nice. I gotta get this chain back on before we do anything else. I feel like the payoff is over here more. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just gonna take a moment here and just appreciate this far off place I've come to. I might not be out this far again for a while.